Hello again everyone, this is Jordan from Robotis here to bring you some more basics on how to program with R plus Task 2.0. In the previous episodes we've become more familiar of how this program works and also how to do some simple program uh, exercises. In this episode we will cover how to program with the uh, built-in I.O. peripherals. Uh, uh, I'm going to be using specifically the CM150, which is from the Dream Kit. But know, as I said in the last episode, that the techniques that are used for this episode, as well as all the others, can be applied to other controllers in the Robotis uh, uh, kits. So uh, let's dive right into it and go to uh, the Dream series. And what we're going to do is open up the seal example. The reason why we're going to this example particularly is because it's going, it uses and demonstrates two basic uh, built-in I.O. peripherals, as I said before, that the controller has. These being the uh, buzzer and the microphone. Um, the buzzer is uh, something similar to, uh, or is called also a piezo element. Uh, it's the it's the component in, built into a computer or uh, into the controllers that cause a buzz sound or a beeping sound. Um, this is very useful for different kinds of uh, uh, robot applications to indicate if it's turning on or if something has occurred. Um, the other thing that that uh, it uses is the mic, as I said, which just simply uh, uh, is used as a sound counter usually. Um, what happens is that at a certain threshold or uh, at a set decibel, the microphone will count uh, or detect its environment to see if it meets that threshold. And once it does, then it actually counts it as a number. So in this example, the seal actually uh, uses both examples. Um, the seal, first of all, uh, uh, indicates that it that the program is initiated and a certain melody, as you can see here, and also the uh, um, the seal actually detects how many times you clap. So when you clap. Uh, or uh, uh, such amount of times it meets that threshold every single time and it actually detects it and does a little count and based off of that the uh, the motors that, that the controller uses or de uh, uh, controls uh, claps the seals hands so many times uh, so uh, let's go into how the how this program works before we actually test it out and show how uh, uh, show how it's implemented. So we go to the buzzer timer and as I said built into R plus task it actually uh, has everything already made. So we have we have a set number of uh, uh, melody you could use in your example or in your uh, program but you also have a timer so how long you want that buzz or that melody to actually occur. And we also have the melody listed on the uh, on the end here so so that's one melody we could have changed it to this one if we wanted to or and uh, we just have it on number three at the moment and uh, the sound counter uh, we just double click and it's uh, listed under the built-in sensors and it just starts the counter and you could just and and the number and this is just an integer number right here to indicate how many we want. Uh, so, but so that's pretty much the overall uh, concept of the built-in uh, uh, peripherals or I/O devices. Um, but the thing is, is this is that you can actually uh, if you if you look there are built-in uh, IR sensors. For which we will go over in the next episode, but there's also uh, if you for different controllers there may be an LED built in, or um, another device that you could use in your program uh, instead of using one of the ports. So, uh, but speaking of ports, let's go to the motors. Uh, in in R plus task, there are several motors that we have included to help 
alleviate your uh, uh, motion or your activity of your robot. So uh, if you double click on the motor, you see that it's actually saying on port one there's a geared motor. But if you go to uh, port two, three, and four, um, the uh, port one and two are the same, but three and four are different. They, uh, the reason why is we actually designated that uh, on three and four, you can put other things than a regular geared motor. You could check out all the other things that you could put onto these ports uh, in the, from the manual, which you could check in the description below. So uh, I'm just going to go back to port one and press OK. Uh, so this is this is uh, set stating or where you actually select uh, what port and what you want on that port. But when you actually, uh, uh, as you see here, there's an actual uh, description of what we want to do with this geared motor. So let's double click on here. And as you can see, with, uh, uh, when you do set a geared motor, it goes directly into what kind of speed and what direction you want that wheel to go in. So, um, or that motor to spin in. So uh, we, you can easily say clockwise or counterclockwise and how much power you want to actually have it. You want to and press OK. So that's pretty much just the basic layout of how to interact with the uh, internal peripherals and also how to uh, uh, set a geared motor. So let's download this uh, uh, program and see how it actually acts. All right, everyone, so now that we have downloaded the program onto the, uh, uh, this robot here, we're going to demonstrate how the mic system and also the buzzer uh, is used for this uh, little guy right here. Keep in mind that yes, he may be a little different uh, in appearance, but he actually has the same internal components. He has the geared motor, as you see there. He also has a controller and also the lipo at the bottom there. So he has all the major components similar to uh, the current Dream Kit. So um, I'm going to just turn him on. And when I turn him on, you should hear a little melody. So uh, you. Uh, if he, uh, so you probably heard that. I don't know if you did, but uh, when you turn him on, you should hear that melody, that that beat, that ringing. So, uh, l so now let's clap or snap. And there you go. He actually detects that uh, it, that each clap or or snap meets a certain threshold. So he counts that as a one. And if you heard, he actually beeps when he claps. So. There we go. So uh, congratulations, we have uh, successfully been able to make a seal clap. <laughs> um, in the next episode, we'll be covering more sensor uh, uh, programming. So until the next episode, just keep uh, practice these basic concepts, have fun, and stay creative.